Hello and welcome to a walking tour of the art department. My name is Brian Glaze and I am one of the art faculty that teach here at Albright. Our tour starts at the corner of 13th and Burn Street where the campus sign that we are passing will be a great indicator that you are in the right place. The art department is located in the Center for the Arts, or CFA. As we walk up to the art entrance on our right, the Freeman Gallery is on our left. As we enter the art wing, you will find my office directly to the right. With my office to our right, we will continue through the double doors to the sculpture studio. Entering the sculpture studio, a number of mediums are explored. This ranges from wood, clay, welding, and mold making. Directly ahead is the wood shop and student display wall. As this is the main work area in sculpture, there are other dedicated studios for welding and mold making, plus an outside yard. We are now entering a lecture space that is connected and shared with three other studios. The first adjacent studio is the dark room to our left. It houses a main exposure and development area, plus side rooms for negative loading and a second work area for exposure and development. A side note, students have after hour access to the dark room and all of the other art studios here at Albright. Exiting the dark room, we are now heading over to printmaking. The print studio has two large etching presses, drying racks, and other work areas for inking and etching. We're now going to finish up the first part of our tour with our Mac Lab. This is one of three Mac Labs that the department utilizes. We also have a number of 3D printers and laser etchers which are currently being used to generate personal protective equipment. Here is our resin printer that generates high resolution prints. Exiting the Mac Lab, we are right back to the first floor entrance where we started. The second part of our tour brings us to the second floor of the art wing, where we will first venture into the drawing studio. A number of foundation courses are offered, plus an upper level watercolor class. The drawing studio's display walls, drawing tables, and ample storage make it a well appointed space. As the studio has generous space, studio light can come from the sky or be controlled with studio lighting. Heading back out to the second floor hallway, we take a hard left into the painting studio. Painting offers a variety of techniques through a number of entry level and advanced courses. An excellent view of the campus, which is great for walking and viewing the permanent sculpture on Albright's campus. Back out to the hallway and on to the student gallery. To the right are student lockers that are available throughout the year. There are a number of lockers on both floors of the art wing. Our student gallery is a great platform for students to experience displaying their artwork for the first time or on a regular basis. Senior level students to group shows help make up a yearly schedule. We are now leaving the art wing and onto the skywalk which gives you more views of the campus. The courtyard area that we're coming up to is called the Mary Miss. It is an integrated sculpture and architectural environment that is used for performances, spoken word, and other gatherings on campus. A sky view displays the other half of the Mary Miss, showing its integration into the structure of the CFA. We are heading over to the Friedman Gallery, which showcases national and international exhibitions. The gallery entrance is on the first floor. At the end of each academic year, the annual student art exhibition is held with artwork ranging from 2D, 3D, and digital. This concludes our tour of the art studios here at Albright. I hope this gave you a better understanding of the art department. I want to thank you for your time and consideration and encourage any questions that you might have. Please feel free to reach out to myself or any of the other art faculty in the art department.